All right. Well, hello everybody. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys are having a good day. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to another Sunday stream. Today we have something pretty special for you. Uh, if this is your first time here, hi everyone. It's me, Jack the Raccoon, and I'm ready to fly us off into our next adventure. And uh, yeah, like I was saying before, we have one heck of a game for us today. It's Shovel Knight. Uh, Shovel of Hope, as it's come to be called. Um, this was one of my favorite games of the last decade. Um, and um, I just haven't picked it up in a long time. But a couple of friends of mine and a few followers have recommended that uh, I give this game a shot and play through it. Because like some of them haven't gotten to experience yet, but they hear it's a really fun game. And I've really wanted to demonstrate um, why is one of my favorite games this game in my opinion really kicked off uh the indie gaming scene like sure you had a like there was games like uh vvv -V 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 -V, um and cave story but this was one of the games that really pushed the indie gaming scene and uh really helped bring back the retro aesthetic so uh, and bring it into the mainstream again. So we have a lot uh, to thank this game for in particular. Uh, there's four possible campaign modes. Each one has a different storyline uh, and a completely different gameplay system. Uh, so there's Shovel Knight, which came out first. Plague Knight, which was at first like an alternate story mode. And then the same levels, just different play style and a different story. Um, and this is actually a boss character, too. All the rest of the characters are boss characters. Uh, Spectre Knight, uh, which is like a prequel. Um, and then King Knight, uh, which I don't really know where King Knight falls in. I haven't really finished that game yet. Uh, but I am very interested in doing so at uh, some point in the future. That'll be pretty exciting. Uh, uh, finally get through hopefully i get a chance to do all four campaigns but uh i recommend that people play through all four campaigns in the original order of release so we're gonna start out with shovel of hope and we're gonna be pretty simple uh we're just gonna name our name jack because that's a me uh the raccoon will that fit uh Okay, that won't fit. Oh, well. RC is a pretty good, um... Shorthand for Raccoon, maybe? Uh, no, we are not going to enable body swap mode. Here we go! Wow, it's been such a long time since I've played this game. I love this game as a kid, though. Long ago, the lands were tamed and roamed by legendary adventures. Let me know if the volume's okay, okay, guys? Of all heroes, none shown brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress in her order of no quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. So yeah, right away, you guys can see that the pixel art and the the music is actually top notch. Um, so Jake Kaufman was one of the main composers for this, and I think he wrote for the newer uh, Shantae games. The music for that series I've heard is also impeccable, and I want to give those games a try too at some point. Um, let's see. But another one of the composers who helped work on this, um, I'm forgetting their name at the moment, but they also famously helped work on the Mega Man series. So, um, yeah, they have a lot of talented composers working on this game. 
And uh, in all honesty, I, I mean, I've said this before, but uh, that's really all you need for me to get into a game is just have good music for it. I will play it no matter what the the actual quality of the gameplay is like, but I hope uh, that by the end of this, you'll see that uh, both the gameplay itself and um, the level design are on snuff with um, like a triple, a triple A experience. And um, another thing on top of that is that the story and the, the the world building in this game is also really, really well done. And uh, it respects the player's time. So if you don't really care about narrative, you could just hop straight into the action. But uh, it gives you like that RPG-ish feeling of like being in a real world with living characters in it. And it's very interesting. And it's like one of the first games I really experienced where the world just really felt alive which was an awesome experience. Alrighty. So right away, we have a couple signature moves here. We can jump, we can shovel with our uh, shovel and it flips over certain enemies and uh, lifts up certain objects and destroys certain blocks. But we also have our signature shovel drop, which allows us to bounce on enemies' heads, just like we're Mario or Scrooge McDuck or even Link from Zelda 2. And we've got music sheets we can find, and we can take those to the bard, if I remember correctly. And he allows us to play songs in the song, um, in, in the little towns. So it's basically like a music selection thing. And he gives us 500 gold. And you might be wondering what gold is used for in this game. Uh, gold is actually used to buy a health or magic upgrade. So it's not just, um, you know for extra lives like Mario because you actually have infinite lives in this game. So the difficulty comes uh, just from uh, platforming and from uh, enemy placement and level design. It's really cool. So uh, also there are achievements in this game and that also adds a whole layer of uh, replayability to it. There is a speedrun uh, type uh, incentive too, to where if you can beat the game in under an hour and a half, you can uh, get an achievement for that. I, I think that the achievement is an hour and a half, although I could be wrong about that. And did I just fail at getting that? I feel like I, I feel like I fricked up. Oh, you can make the jump anyway. All right, cool. If you're a pro gamer like me, you don't need no stinking enemies. We can bounce on the bubbles too, which is also really helpful. This is such a great first level in uh, helping to uh, guide new players in how the mechanics work. I can't believe I lived that one. I definitely should have died. Um, but yeah, uh, normally when I see new players play through this, unless this is like the first video game they've played in like actual years, um, It'll take them a good while to get used to the shovel drop and all of that. Um, but the way these things are laid out uh, in the way that like you fight the dragons and they have the bubbles that they spit out and those hurt you, but it helps to teach you that you can bounce on the bubbles and you can actually get some pretty good air on it and like just shovel spike the dragon into oblivion like wombo combo him. It's really good, and it helps the player learn uh, how the shovel drop works really well. Just a lot of things in this game are really nice. Uh, also, another layer of replayability to this is the checkpoint system. Uh, so these things, they light up, and that's your checkpoint, obviously. And those things, the ones in the first level have like a gold trim around them. Uh, but normally, checkpoints don't have a gold rim around them, and that means you can break those checkpoints. Uh, once you break a checkpoint, you can get a lot of gold from it, which helps you upgrade uh, faster, obviously. But uh, the downside to it is that that checkpoint no longer works. So there is some incentive to breaking the checkpoints, but uh, it's also good for just bragging rights and things of that nature. And it helps with uh, difficulty. If you want the game to be more of a challenge, you can break, break some of the checkpoints. If you can make it through more of the stage without dying, it's interesting. And it's fun. 
fact, over this game uh, allows a lot in terms of customization in its difficulty without even having to make like an easy mode or a hard mode, even though this game does have a new game plus, and from what I remember, it's pretty difficult. I forget what all is different about new game plus, I think it's just the fact that it has less checkpoints. And I think enemies do double damage, so that's rough. Let's get some of this gold. All right, and we do need to bounce off this dragon, I think, in order to make it to this section. Uh, I'm gonna try to get all the music sheets for this. So, awesome. So yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Um, I had to wake up like an hour early for church today, which, uh, gosh, I've been, very tempted to like stay up late the past couple of days with uh, friends. So yeah, waking up early this morning was not fun, but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh oh, it's the Black Knight. Uh, I I do like that they have like sort of a logistic character, um, from like King Arthur. I think the Black Knight is from. But anyway, I knew you'd show show your face around here sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward is it Cerulean Cerulean? I don't know. Turn back, Shovel Knight! There's nothing for you here anymore. <laughs> Stand aside, Black Knight! I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away is- I'm- I'm- I'm still wondering what type of voice Black Knight should have. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? The entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! <laughs> I like that he has a high-pitched voice. Maybe I should give him a high-pitched voice the next time I read his lines of dialogue. But yeah, no, Black Knight is, um... As you see, he has, you have like his sort of health meter in the top right corner there. He has the least amount of health in this fight um, than any other boss in the game. Uh, which is good because, you know, the player's still learning how the game works. Uh, he has his own shovel drop, which is kind of intimidating. So already you can tell he's going to be sort of like the dark pit of this game. Hey, K Mizzy, what's up? We just beat the first level, kicked Black Knight's butt. GG gamers. We almost through that, made it through that whole stage without taking damage, but of course we had to take some damage to Black Knight. Got him! I always loved this scene playing through the game. The this, this scene where he's just at the little campfire, warming his tiny little hands. He drifts off to sleep. And then we get, uh oh! It's Shield Knight. You must save your maiden! Uh-oh. Crap, 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 crap. Catcher, catcher! The music is also really nice. Oh. Ooh. Don't worry, we caught her. But as it turns out, it was just a dream and we are haunted by uh, remembering our girlfriend. Drat. Just like me for real. Shovel Knight will once again, once again have maidens, but for now he is maidenless. So, uh, unlike most maidenless gamers, we're going into town to socialize with people. Hate when the maiden is just a dream, I know. Halt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about lately with everyone swinging swords around. Oh! <laughs> that's no weapon. It's just a shovel. You may enter then. And don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. I, I love the little music. Maidenless gamers. The dear lady. I love the pun. So sorry, but you're a bit too short for me. Bruh! It's Blue Link from The Legend of Zelda. 
Here's a secret in Pride More Keep. Keep going left. Going left first is right. I love how the NPCs give you little hints. It's cool. Wait, is that an emo girl walking to the left? Anyway. Uh, head to the juice bar for a fresh squoze juice. Fresh squoze. Morning, noon, or night. Shovel Knight is a short king. I agree. Just like most gaming protagonists, apparently, he is a short king. Hell, Traveler, I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. The entire repertoire lay scattered across land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Hooray! You have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Yes. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found a strike the earth. Ah, ostinato trumpet triplets. Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time. Just ask. So yes, we can ask the bard for, um... Music. Hail Shovel Knight, Hero of Music. Uh, that's a title I've always wanted, was the Hero of Music. But yeah, we can play any theme we want, including the title theme. Steal Thy Shovel. Oh, and you get to hear a short description he has for every single song. You may not know this, but I compose a unique theme for every new adventure. I don't merely you reuse old music. Well, sometimes I do. <laughs> yeah, this adds a lot more, um, I don't know, life to the game is seeing, uh, and personality to all the characters is seeing all the flavor text they have. Uh, I'm gonna play the town theme though. Uh, unless we could just cancel it and tell them not to play music. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, usually the music is more dynamic than this in the town. Let's actually walk in and out of the time. Did you just wolf whistle at me? Ooh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. You can't even see my face. My camera's too blurry. And I have a helmet. Dang. If only more maidenless gamers got that treatment more often, unfortunately. Shovel Knight is only into Shield Knight type users. But anyway, let's see what's actually going on around town. We have the Gastronomer. Um, pottage and poultry, mutton and meat. Your maximum health will increase if you eat. Bring a meal ticket, I'll whip up a feast. Gotician might have some. Now where's that sly beast? Unfortunately, as a gamer, I don't get respect. But yes, Shovel Knight is only into gamer girls. So only Shield Knight will do. Want more use out of your relics? Oh yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet? What? I can't. You have to find some relics. Chester, down the ladder, he always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Huh. Is it interesting that the magician is like sort of a ditzy blonde? Eh, hey, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? We'll just eat a tin can. Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Yes. The magician is just like me. Aww. Don't do yourself dirty like that, Cave is he? A meal ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get to my I'll get to work on my best recipe! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less! So bon appetit and pardon the mess. Da -da -da. I love all the little animations he has. It's cute. It's all green! No. But 
but if we do eat this, um, as disgusting as it looked, that did increase our health from four big dots to five, and that's really significant. Uh, let's see who's all down here. The juice maid. Ah, new face. Dancers, apocalypse, witches, goats. Everyone's welcome here. Oh, that Spectre Knight! If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Gotcha. Depose King. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule but my lone barstool. King Knight sits on Pride War's throne, that gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Whatever that green stuff was. <laughs> That's what my cooking looks like. Double trouble, soil and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. Excarito! The number of dug dig piles you've dug, you've dig dug, is seven! Or of Infidosa! The amount of gold you've collected is 6,019! Great year, by the way! Thanato Refutum! The number of times you've fallen in battle is zero! Kippum Petrupa! The total time you've spent adventuring is 17 minutes and 40 seconds! I magically see all your acts come back again for more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I am not a witch! Oh, we can destroy this wall. And we get to see... Bath and GF. Uh, I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll need just 100 gold first. Oh, you don't want to? It's okay. I'm used to disappointment. Wow, women are used to disappointment when it comes to me, but that that just hits different. I, I guess we'll play our game. All right, I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them towards the targets for points. Okay. All right, time for a mini game. Uh oh. So this is basically the game's way of teaching you how to uh, shovel things in midair for more precision, which is good because that's gonna be an essential skill uh, throughout the game is learning to hit things uh, with good timing. So, uh, Yowza, I'm sucking. Alright, and as soon as I say I suck, I'm actually doing great, so that makes me look like an absolute jerk. Sure, I can never just... Whatever. Ah, no! I let the red one fall! Oh, that sucks. I love the music for this game, though, and I hope you do, too. Oh, wait, I accidentally paused. Crap. 162! You got 162 points. Uh, well, color me impressed. Awesome! That's a lot of gold. That's like way more gold than I'm used to getting. I'm pretty sure that's some of the best I've done in that mini game. Although I didn't play that game too often as a kid. But we do have two more music sheets now. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. I like his little puns that he has, and I love that his little thing extends and stick up. Whatever. Let's see what more puns he has. Psh, that King Knight. You give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler. I, I love this game's sense of humor, dude. It's so fun. Oh, hello, fish friend. Oh, hail the Trample King. Who? You've never heard of the Trample the trapple King? Half trout and half apple. Pronounced like trout mouthful. Trample. He's one of those four scarves. Here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. 
If you ever visit the sacred grotto, hold your chalice aloft, and the trample king, the trample king will appear. As it happens, I've been entrusted to sell trample chalices to believers. Would you like so? Uh, it actually is pretty well worth it to buy uh, one or two of these, uh, these things. Um, the chalice pretty early on um so let's buy both even though it seems like a waste of money now uh it will pay off for us in the future <sighs> hey blue guy you wouldn't believe the kind of merchandise i got for you today why not have a look um so the fishing rod is also going to be really useful for us cast it into a bit pit and wait for a bite are you sure yes uh the fishing rod so, we don't have enough money to get the uh, green thing yet, but I'm sure once we um, cash in some of our music sheets, I think there's another music sheet over to the right, if I remember correctly. Hey, Mr. Knight, nice stick. Come on, let's play. Sonic the Hedgehog, Hedge Farmer. Uh, are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Wow, incredible. You really are Shovel Knight. Oh, wait, we can talk to Link. Oh, he's, he's just a fisherman. Have you ever seen sparkles rising from the bottomless pits? Those spots are where the real riches is. Ah, oh, and he has improper grammar and everything. <laughs> we gotta hop on this lady with her water yoke. Whew, these buckets are heavy. Move my steed. So there's another music sheet, and we've got a treasure chest up here. Awesome. Let's go talk to the musician again. Fishing is easy. You just cast your line in any pit and wait for the yeah! to pop up and haul them up. Alrighty. Alrighty, thanks for telling me. I kept spamming A for some reason, or spamming up for some reason when I'm trying to hold left. Woo! You have three music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each! Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the local happenstance. Sorry if my camera keeps fogging up. That happens from time to time. Last week I was uh, barred from the juice bar. What are you? Some kind of bard? Bard ender? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime. Just ask. I, again, I I absolutely am in love with this game's sense of humor. It It's so just wonderfully fun. Nice. I'm the fastest! No one can outrun me! Bruh, kid, you're actually, like, so easy to outrun, it's not even funny. Madam Mieber? I don't think I remember her. Oh, hello, my flightless friend. If you have an amiibo, I can transform it into a fairy companion. Would you like me to summon some fairy fun for you? Yay. Boobity boo, what shall we do? Oh wait, I don't I don't have a shovel knight amiibo. Rip. I forgot that they used to have shovel knight amiibo. That's actually pretty cool. Shovel knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. Oh, that's cool. So there's one place we got to go before we actually start uh, our journey. Oh, and I forgot there's a co-op mode in this game. It said so at the top left. Flightless friends. This, this is fun. But yeah, this is the Trouple King. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need aid? Aid me! 
I sense a Trowpool Chalice. I can fill it with magical I-Core. That's pronounced I-Core. Choose your I-Core wisely. I love how it gives you like helpful pronunciations of like all the really old words or old timey words. Uh, so there's three options you can have for each of your Trowpool Chalices. Uh, and you can either refill all health or magic with the red one, uh, become invincible for 10 seconds with the blue one, or absorb treasure with the yellow one. Obviously, I think if this is your first time playing, you're going to want the portable health. That's sort of like an E-tank. Uh, and I might have this for both my tropical chalices. <laughs> Thank you, Destiny Bound. Hope you're having a good day. But yeah, I like to do voices for characters. For me, it's part of the fun. But yeah, how are you guys doing, chat? I hope life's treating you well today. Good. This is not my first time playing this game at all. Uh, this is just my first time playing the game in several years. So I, it's more like re-experiencing an old favorite for me. I used to play this game on the 3DS. All right, let's do King Knight first. Let's get shoveling. But yeah, no, did you ever play this game before Destiny Bound? I, I'm assuming you've uh, you played this game before. If you made a comment about uh, all the streams you've seen, yeah, we we had the Yacht Club Games logo, and I think that's that's just really neat. There's a fishing hole here. Eventually, someday someday we'll have the thing. Oh, well, that's just a lot of gold, but you know. Oh, boo-hoo, I just get money instead of, like, health or whatever. I'm not gonna be that guy. That's a first world problem to end all first world problems. Dang. Oh, we have a speedrunner in chat. That's cool. Dang. I I absolutely love this game. I, I haven't played through the King Knight campaign yet. But what I want to do is I want to, like, um... I have a lot of friends who've wanted to play this game for a while uh, or would rather just watch somebody play through it. So I'm just like, hey, why not me? This is one of my favorite games of the past decade. And also I did want to like refresh myself of like what the story was like and what the world building was so I could truly appreciate the King Knight campaign when I finally get around to that. So I do eventually plan on streaming this whole treasure trove collection at some point i don't know if i'll do the new game pluses on stream uh that might make it more interesting for chat but uh yeah i don't know who knows uh oh nice gotta avoid the lava cauldrons you know no castle is complete without a good bit of lava i, I guess that's one thing yacht club games really took from bowser um gosh it's hard to believe that this came from a time where like this came out like before smash for 3ds and wii u came out which is crazy to think about now we're on like the next gen smash game only two out of four games i've done speedrun specter of torment and king of cards that's awesome man I've only done one speedrun before, um, like one official speedrun before. Like, obviously, as a kid, I tried to beat games as fast as I could. Um, 
That's just because when you're a kid and you have limited income, you're just going to replay the same games over and over until you're, like, absolutely sick of them. <laughs> um... I, I failed to hop on the horses in a good time. But yeah, no, I love that this game, like, also incentivizes speedrunning with, uh, some of the achievements that it has. At least for the Shovel Knight campaign, it has, uh, some achievements. I don't know if it has achievements for the other modes or not. But yeah, let's uh, hop into the Shovel Knight hole. It's very Tom and Jerry of it, or like Looney Tunes. Anyone else get Wily Coyote vibes from that? That was such a weird surprise to me when I saw like Shovel Knight just standing there and Beat the game in an hour and 30 minutes. That's cool. In the village, you're in the village, you're out in the field. I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? Yes. All right, we have like his fire rod. Flare wand, close enough. And this just basically shoots a projectile out uh, straight in front of you. Basically like a Mega Man projectile. Oh gosh, this game is so good. Alrighty. So we're just making our way casually through the top. Hmm. Some of the walls seem kind of sus, and if they ever do seem sus to you, you can break them and uh, usually there's like hidden little secrets. Even if it doesn't, even if like, the wall pattern doesn't like look different at first glance like we're obviously supposed to head up that ladder but i if i remember correctly there's like some hidden gold here and we want gold because we want to upgrade uh our weapons we want to um get more uh treasures oh shoot did i just screw myself out of something yes Oh good! I'm I'm just I, I just can't go that way anymore. Fine! Gosh. Sometimes life is difficult like that. What can you do? Sometimes life just won't let you get like hundreds upon hundreds of gold bars. Terrible. Hello, Uncle Snail. How's it going? That is unfortunate, I agree. It's always unfortunate when life just is, nah, you can't just do that. Sorry about that, mate. Whoa, okay, accidental pause. Pardon me. Wow, that, those curtains do a really good job disguising what is ground and what is not. But yeah. I, I love how just, uh, important this game was in kicking off the indie scene. This was just an absolute masterpiece to me as a kid. Heck yeah. You have church in the evening? I mean, it's not that unusual, I guess. I had to wake up pretty early for church this morning. That and I've been tempted to stay up late uh, with my college friends uh, for the past couple days. So, yeah, waking up this morning was not fun, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, to like, you know, stay spiritually healthy. Both or morning and evening. Gotcha, gotcha. Do, 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 do. Yeah, no, my dad's a pastor, so I I get that. Uh oh. But yeah, no, I really liked the music in like the Shovel Knight campaign as a kid. But as you guys will hopefully see uh, as this let's play continues, is that like. With each campaign, the music just gets better and better. Now, I just have too many games in my backlog and I'll probably never get to it. 
Yeah. Well, that's part of the reason why I'm making this is because uh, I have friends like that too. And now nah, I get it. The, the backlog is real. Uh, I have Elden Ring in my backlog, actually, and, um, I just have heard from so many people that it's a really good game, but it will completely suck up your social life for an entire month. Uh, and I don't really know if I can afford to do that. <laughs> um, but right now my brother's playing through it and he's really enjoying it, so... That's cool. Hopefully I can get this timing right. But yeah, no, this was like a such a really good deal, especially like back uh, when it first came out. This game was like $15 on like the Nintendo eShop, which for a game of this quality is like really rare. Um, and then like they kept adding new free DLC for it. So it my initial my initial investment ended up like really paying off. Oh gosh. Woo! Woo! Okay. Just gotten Monster Hunter Rise as a recommendation. I'm still taking so long to learn the controls. I've never played a Monster Hunter game. I really want to though. How are you enjoying it so far? Come on. We've killed one griffin today. An interloper is in our midst, be gone from our throne room, knave. I'm more than- I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. Oh. Oh yeah, not having mappable buttons would be pretty annoying. You're not, but a decadent dandy. Oh wait, it, it it's decadent. My face when you mispronounce your face when you mispronounce a word online. <laughs> Prepare to taste justice, shovel justice, silence. I don't know really how to distinguish their two voices. Oh well, we'll 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 get to that later. Uh, da, 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 da. Gosh, I love the boss music for each of the bosses. But yeah, King Knight is a pretty easy fight in comparison to the rest of the bosses, especially in comparison to Spectre Knight, who I would consider like the first uh, big difficulty jump in this game. Oh gosh. I remember just struggling with Spectre Knight for hours as a kid. Like, not only his stage was really difficult to me at the time, but also like his boss fight. That's probably the quickest I've ever taken down King Knight. Good grief. I'm just a gamer, apparently. Get absolutely destroyed. I mean... Yeah, I'm a gamer. What you gonna do about it? I'm gonna take a nap by the fire. Because I'm so bored of your... Boring little skill issues, King Knight. I love that you get uh, an achievement for putting out the fire. King Knight stage theme is called the Halsey Usurper. Yes, I agree. The, the name of the song is really accurate. But yeah, no, I love all the character backstories of Shovel Knight, and uh, uh, once again, I haven't, I haven't beaten the King Knight campaign, so I don't, I, no spoilers, but yeah, I can't wait to see uh, all the new world building that's had, that's there. Oh, you can just get so much gold from these areas. It's awesome. But anyway, let's go back into town so that we can, uh... Um... Get our gold and, uh, buy our weapons and... Get some things. Oh, we forgot to read the description he had for the King Knight song. 
Wait, let's 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 read some of his descriptions. Last week I was. Oh yeah. Da, 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 da. Spinny bottle. The client's only reaction was, "Oh, it's okay, I guess. Whatever." Sorry, was I not brooding enough for you? Oh yeah, Spanish. The Dance of the Dead, yeah. I can't, I can't wait to replay all the levels and hear all the old music. The Decadent Dandy. The Pretender must be dethroned, even if it's unfashionable. You wouldn't believe how many revisions King Knight demanded. He's what we call a nightmare client. I freaking love this game's sense of humor, dude. It's so fun. But yeah, let's buy a, uh, the little ball from that guy, the, the Orb of Destiny or something. Orb of Whimsy. Hey, blue guy. Yes. An Orb of Boundless Potential. The Chaos Sphere. So now we can bounce around two dangerous balls. Want more use out of your relics? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your m maximum magic. Good. Yes. Yes. Uh, why not buy me a ticket and help narrow my options? Yes. We will do exactly that. Ah, a meal ticket! Hand it to me! I'll get to work on my best recipe! I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less! So bon appetit and pardon the mess! I love all his little animations of him cooking. The food looks so good when he's preparing it. Wait, why do you have special dialogue? No appetite? You can't find evil on an empty stomach, you know. That sandwich looks awesome. The, not, the wizard might be unironically one of my favorites. So funny. You mean the, um, the magician? She's like a woman. Or do you mean like the, the witch in the basement who like tells you your stats? But anyway, let's do uh, Spectre Knight. <laughs> Okay, so we can't go left in this stage. I love all the Spectre Knight remixes of these songs. Um, again, I need to replay or I need to play through the King Knights uh, campaign sometimes so that I can take a listen to all the original music. Right, Lady Magician, her. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be a. Um, I don't know, like a stickler. This music reminds me a lot of uh, a game I should have played on the 3DS or uh, on the Switch, since it is on the Switch now, which is uh, M Mutant Muds. I, I should really give that game a shot sometime. It's a game I like downloaded the demo for on the 3DS and really liked. It had some like uh, virtual boy WarioWare type gameplay to it, where you bounce between the foreground and the background. And it also has like a retro aesthetic. I think it did it before Shovel Knight too, which was even more impressive, but obviously uh, Shovel Knight was just, you know, the more popular game. Oh gosh. Gosh, th this music is like so, so iconic. I, I will probably remember this game's soundtrack. Uh, for like a good couple of decades. Probably just because I've spent so much time playing this game as a kid. So yeah, that's how you take out the big skeletons really quickly. You can also use your like orbs. I should actually use my relics more often. I feel like I'm wasting them by not using them. Shame the 3DS Wii U eShop got shut down. So many good games. 
I agree. Uh, the DuckTales Remastered uh, was really fun. Let's see, what other like Wii U exclusives? I always wanted to try the WarioWare game on the Wii U. Although whether whether it's good or not, I I don't really know. I didn't really look up a review for that game. But yeah, no, every once in a while, uh, I'll come back to this game soundtrack just because it's so, so good, man. Again, that's, that's all you need to get me to play a game is just have good music. I feel like uh, Paper Mario uh, as a series, even the, even like the games that people think are like the bad ones, basically. Even those games have like really good music and like that's what kept me playing them as a kid And also like as a kid you don't really have a fair judgment for like what what's a good game and what's a bad game, you know Yeah, I agree the the DS version uh Honestly, it's oh, like its worst flaw was that it was for the DS um, Like a console with no like circle pad because Well, that's our first death is uh, to Spectre Knight, so that's uh, ironic Anyway, let's get our money back but yeah, no, I actually played the DS version after playing the the original Super Mario 64 version. Uh, again, on Wii U, that's the first time I ever played the game. I should have waited for the lightning to flash. But yeah. DS version was good. Uh... I really liked uh, all the new uh, playable characters. That was really fun. Um, and then there were new levels too, which was really interesting. I don't know whether they were like uh, beta levels or things like that, but it did really add a lot in my opinion. Uh oh. What? Oh, that's rough. No. All right, rip you, dumb skelly boys. Ba 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 ba. ba. <sighs> nice. Oh gosh, it is so hard to see in this screen. You've done one speed run for the game and all you know is that it took five hours to 70 stars. Never again, your thumb hurt so badly. Oh my gosh, that's rough. A Mario 64 DS? You know, you can use the touch screen as a circle pad too though, right? Well, I guess then I would just say it as like Kid Icarus Uprising tier controls. Well, but Kid Icarus Uprising is one of those games where it's just like, yeah, the, like the control system is obviously like it's one biggest flaw other than it being on the 3DS and like graphically it could really use like a graphical upscaling, you know, but like other than that, it's like not a bad game. It's actually a really good game. And if you can get past the controls, I think that game is a lot of fun. I, I just feel like Mario 64 DS would have benefited so much from being on a console that like actually had uh, like the 3DS circle pad. You can move the subtitles to the top screen. Yeah, that's such a shame. But I mean, I am really glad it has those options though, because it helps make the game a lot more fun. I love the dialogue in that game. It's so genuinely funny. Another game with genuinely good dialogue that I don't hear talked about very often, like for, for its positives, 
is, uh, is Paper Mario Color Splash. That game has absolutely hilarious dialogue. Drat. Please tell me I can go back. Okay. And the enemies respawn. That is absolutely perfect because if I remember, Chester is right in here. And he will give us a new weapon that will be absolutely essential to making it through the rest of the game. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Wanna see? That's very Captain Toad of him popping out of the chest and giving you an item. But yeah, it's the phase locket. Now you to phase away from all possible harm. Which is really cool. It's really useful. Uh, especially the hang time. As someone who actually liked Color Splash, I can agree. It gave me a chuckle here and there. Yeah. Anytime it wasn't making, like, paper-related jokes, which I didn't necessarily mind, um, I was surprised at how genuinely funny it was. Which is really cool. Like, some of my favorite jokes, uh, in a Mario game are from that game. Another Paper Mario game I really need to beat sometime is Super Paper Mario. I've gotten very close to beating that game, but I've never made it all the way through. Maybe that'll be a, like a future Let's Play. Maybe I could make that uh, one of the things that uh, my Discord could get to decide on. That being said, if anyone is interested in joining my Discord, uh, just say the word and I can send you a link to the Discord. So that way you guys, you, the viewer, can vote on what shenaniganery we get up to next. The final boss? Yeah. No, that- I- I'm also stuck on the final castle of that game. That specifically is the part I'm stuck at. So, we're going down here? Oh, there's another big boy. Uh, let's see. We can use Phase Locket, but we can also use Chaos Sphere to, like, just absolutely destroy this son of a Garfunkel. There we go. GG's, idiot. Alright, see you, Uncle Snail. Have a great rest of your day. Do 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 do. Oh boy. Yikes! Okay. Ooh, that was that was actually really close. Ooh. Nice. But yeah, this game is like in this level in particular is really fun to watch my friends who like aren't uh as great at platformers as I am play for the first time because like you can readily see the improvement in their skills as uh, they go through the level and it's really interesting uh, I know the thing I should equip for this it's you the problem with color splash bosses is unless you know what to bring you can't get the yeah exactly that that is really hard about that game I mean I'm sure there's like NPCs you can talk to. I think I remember that. But yeah, it, it is rough. Maybe I'll maybe I'll play through that game someday. It'll be fun, hopefully. For the most part, this is no place to be summoned for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time, as we saw with your beloved Shield Knight. LIES! I won't believe such talk from phantoms! Your very existence is a vile deception! <laughs> Enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life. So that I may take yours! Yes! So this is Spectre Knight! Um, again, in my opinion, he's one of the first real difficulty curves in this game. But as long as you keep on him with a decent volley of uh, these, the flare wand, uh, you should be pretty good. 
and I mean as you recognize uh, what he does and how he moves, uh, you'll be better off for it. And he's gonna probably warp here at this point. Oh, let's go! The instinctual jump up to the top left. Can I be a hype gamer? Oh, the answer is yes! We got him, boys. <laughs> First try, idiot! Oh, and I, this, this little corpse is like dangling off the edge like he's 8-bit Mario. Where he just is like 90% off the cliff. Oh, and we warm our little hands by the fire. Or like five pixels of hand. <sighs> Woman is falling. Do not worry. Save her. Oh, that's right. You can get tons of gold from this part. If you just get distracted by riches and do not become simp. Uh, where is she? 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 I hope she is. Uh-oh. Bounce off of you. Got him. You got the hint toad in the main town, but even then, his hints are so vague. They give a localization and description for the first. So, for the first thing, the fire hydrant, the hint is a red thing on the red road, which puts out which is hot. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good hint, though. A meal ticket. So. You know, whether you're interested in spending your money or whether you're doing like a cheap skate run or like a no gold run, you can technically get a health upgrade and that's really nice. Let's uh... Let's go to the gastronomer and to the bard and get some health and some gold. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the apparition! When I presented this theme to Spectre Knight, he started conducting with that huge scythe. Well, I ducked out of the way in time. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you at any time. Just ask. Wow, that... I, I love the Bart. He's so bubbly. And it's like he has his own little misadventures. It's so fun. The Gastronomer has always reminded me of Gaston. Maybe it's like the hair or the way he dresses. But yeah. What the heck is that? <laughs> Any anyway. Uh, we have now defeated both King Knight and Spectre Knight. So let's see what these guys have to say. King Knight reigns no more. Huzzah! No, I can rule pride more. Hurrah! A no death run, which gave me three achievements. Oh, true. <laughs> you didn't do it in one go. Yeah, that makes sense. I still have yet to do a whole, a whole no death run of this game, but that sounds fun. You defeated Spectre Knight! Uh, now behold my greatest treasure! DANCE! I love how she bumps me out of the way. You can just force her to do that dance over and over again. Wait, you you, you can't skip it? Unskippable cutscene? That's it. Six out of ten Yacht Club games. Nice try. Better luck next time, buddy. Out of every level, Propeller Knight was the hardest. Yeah, I can see that. I think that, um, yeah, Spectre Knight's boss fight was the hardest for me when I first played, 
but I do feel like Propeller Knight's um, actual stage was so hard for me when I first played. That were, um, I remember having a little bit of difficulty with Treasure Knight stage, which is interesting. But anyway, we have the Explodatorium. Ready! And I love the little fire plumes that just geyser on up when you uh, steps on it. And this might have to be my last level because uh, unfortunately I'm running out of time for today. But I mean, I do plan on playing more of this game next week, so it should be fun. But anyway, let's not think about that right now. I absolutely love the Spectre Knight camp or the the Plague Knight campaign. Um, no spoilers, obviously, because there's some people in chat who haven't beaten this game before or haven't played through it. But, uh, and I do plan on playing through it at some point. But I absolutely love the ending to this to the Plague Knight campaign. It's probably one of my favorite endings. Uh. Not to a game, obviously, but like, um, to this series. But, I mean, I haven't played through all the endings, so I, 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 I don't know if I can make a fair judgment on that, but, I mean, I like to think I'm a decent judge of quality. Oh shoot. Am I just dumb? Possibly. I do not killed me so many times, the boss rush especially, to get- Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense to me. No. Okay, cool. Kill the rat to have them blow up. You know, like rats do. I love that you just have a plague doctor um, boss and, like, none of it has to do with, like, sickness or anything. Like, it's all just, like, explosions. Like, why explosions, you know? Why, why fire? Ah, oh, shoot. Boom, shakalaka. Rat. Dude, these rat hitboxes. So big. Dude, Plague Knight actually sounds like an awesome speedrun. I love the one uh, upgrade you can get that basically uh, changes your burst into a, uh, like a Metroid screw attack. That's, that was awesome to me as a kid. I love that one. And also Plague Knight just offers so much experimentation. I mean, obviously I think the speed run is like pretty much solved uh, like the ideal uh, upgrades to get and all that. If you, if you even get upgrades at all, I don't know. Also another thing this game took from Mega Man Instant death spikes. How how wonderful and exactly what we needed. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, don't touch the spikes. You will regret it. Unless, of course, you have a phase locket handy. Which, I mean, you could. Um... But yeah, also I love the way these item rooms are constructed and it really helps like reinforce what the weapon is used for when you get from Chester. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found this chest. Oh really? The alchemy coin, toss a coin for a chance at riches. I love that there's a thing that just turns things into gold. The alchemy coin. The only time alchemy will work. Gosh, I wish. Anyway, the power to be rich. It's called Lucky Spawn. Uh oh. Woo! Do -do. I, one thing I thought of, or that I always really thought about hearing like the Spectre Knight uh, remix of this song, uh, or like the remix for the Spectre Knight campaign, was that um, this song sounded like a lot like a song you would hear in like a Batman 
type uh, game or media. I don't know why, but like this, the Spectre Knight version of this just gives me like a very Gotham City vibe. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else. It, like it's like that. <laughs> Oh, it's like the spinny bottle va vials or whatever it's called. Oh wait, I, I should have bounced on his head. Yeah, that was a mistake not doing that. Oh look! He casually turned himself into a yeti. Sucks to be him, I guess. Boom. Oh, that stinks. Get wrecked! Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now we have timed fires. So basically, we just need to time our jumps at this point. And if you time your jump right, uh, you don't have to worry about taking damage. So that's good. Whoa! I forgot that these guys will like do the jump attack on you. That sucks. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. I can just. Uh oh. Well, never mind. Can't win them all. With uh, the little coin. Ah! Okay, cool. I thought I was about to land on the fire and take knockback damage into the pit. That would. That would have really sucked. Uh, let's use the phase locket here. Ow. So yeah, using the phase lock can, can really help in this area uh, to dodge the fires. I used to be able to do it as a kid without the phase locket, but obviously uh, it's a lot more difficult. Nice! Look at all this gold! Heck to the yes! Woo! Another Yacht Club's game... Yacht Club Games game that I really want to try is like Mina the Burrower. That game looks really fun. It seemed to capture that uh, like uh, NES or Game Boy uh, Zelda really well. And I, I don't know, I've just always wanted to give that a shot, but... Hmm. And also apparently there's like a Castlevania type uh, game that's like not actually Castlevania. I forget what it's called. Uh, but it's also like 8-bit. I think it's like Circle of the Moon or something. No, that's an actual Castlevania game. I'm dumb. But yeah, it's like an indie game. It's like basically Castlevania, but not called Castlevania. And I've always wanted to give that one a try too. Maybe I'll stream it sometime for Halloween. Multiplayer? This stage? That sounds ridiculous. I, I loved when multiplayer came out for this game because I was just like... I, I was always the kind of kid who, like, so, I have four younger siblings, um, but, I mean, I had one brother who would, like, always play video games with me, um, and we would always just wish that they made a multiplayer mode for all of the single-player games that we love to play with, because it's just, like, we had new Super Mario Brothers Wii, we had, uh, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, uh, which was an both of which are awesome multiplayer games, but you know, they're also really good single player games. So it's just like, we were in that phase to where we were just like, man, every good game should be multiplayer. Whenever there was multiplayer for a game like Super Mario Galaxy, where like, player two was basically like a glorified viewer, um, it's just like, bruh, that's so cheap. Hey, leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickler, your trickery will not stop me. Trickery? Hey, the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom! <laughs> now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise. <laughs> it will be enlightening. I was trying to get as many multiplayer games to play with friends. The best one by far has been Nintendo Land. Nintendo Land is in. S tier multiplayer game. Holy cow. What a great one. Mario Party is really fun too. I've never heard of Borderlands before. I should give that a try. I love a good multiplayer game.
But anyway, boss fight time. And I love this boss theme. I used to play this, uh, I used to play this song on my MP3 player all the time when I was at work. And of course, like, there were like normies in high school, as I as I'll call them, who basically just, you know, uh, I was homeschooled growing up, so like a lot of my friends I did have were like not gamers and did not understand gaming at all. And plus, that was just, like before it was like really, like before gaming was like actually mainstream. Um, I I would like play the songs from Shovel Knight on my MP3 player. And one of my friends would. I have this really vivid memory of one of my friends going like, Hey, what music are you listening to? Can you show me? I was playing the Plague Knight soundtrack um, from the Plague Knight campaign on my MP3 player. And so I hand him an earbud and he and he's listening to it. And I expect him to really like it too, because it was one of my favorite songs. And then he just looks over at me and he just gives me his face like... Like as if I'm do like I'm listening to some like disgusting form of music and I'm just like and then he goes back to listening to whatever song was popular at the time. Uh which was probably something like Old Town Road or something like way more cringe than listening to Shovel Knight. <laughs> but yeah, that was funny. Yeah, no kidding. Nintendo Land was just an absolute masterpiece multiplayer game. It is really hard to explain that to people, but I guess soundtracks in general are becoming a more and more popular um, genre of music to listen to, which it doesn't really make sense to call that a genre. It's more of like a subset of music. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just really fun, and I think it deserves uh, more of a spotlight. But I, I do plan on making a YouTube video about, like, uh, gaming soundtracks and, like, why they should be, um, you know, listened to more. North from Pride Morn, west at the fork. Oh, brother, I must have passed it already. Well met, traveler! Oi! Maybe you can help me. I think I got lost. I was trying to... Wait a second. You're the knight with a shovel. Indeed, I am the... The knight with a shovel who's been... Menacing the village! I, I assure you, I have done no such... You gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people? Your reign of terror ends here! I'll show him a thing or three. Sorry, my the Rex from Xenoblade 2 was calling out to me. I I heard him say oi one time and I was just like, ah, oh, Xenoblade person. My favorite Brit. Uh-oh. Yep, have my magical balls chase him around, no big deal. I love that my shovel also just deflects fire, any sort of projectile. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 in the deedle, deedle, deedle. Uh-oh. <laughs> I had one little health left. Video game music could be any genre of film. I, I agree, and I think the Mario movie especially just really showcased how good game music is, even in things outside of games. Like, oh my goodness, I could listen to that soundtrack all heckin' day. But of course, I could, I could watch the Mario movie. I, I feel like that, that's always gonna be one of my comfort movies from now on, and it's, it's such a wonderful thing to say out loud. Because I was scared it would be terrible, but yeah. Do your worst, villain! Strike me down! I'm no villain! We're fighting a common enemy! We- We are? Why didn't you say so? Wow, I, I feel like a fool now! Think nothing of it, friend! Knights are strongest when they work together! Yeah, Knight's Code, first vow! Always help a person in need! 
Knock him down, Shovel Knight! I wonder what happens if you just leave without taking the music thing. The Gusty Garden Galaxy Orchestral is just so good. I know. Oh, Gusty Garden Galaxy. What a, what an amazing song. I, I feel like that song is just going to be like just one of my favorite like compositions until the day I die. All right, let's hear some of his descriptions for some more songs. Dead crowd tonight, says I. Lesson learned, never crack jokes in the graveyard. Never ever. <laughs> uh, full disclosure, I transcribed this opus from another bard in a faraway land. Brilliant. I was feeling uninspired until Plague Knight threw some kind of potion in my face. When I woke up, the song was somehow finished. Uh, it's shocking to me that the Mario Galaxy is one of the first Mario games to have an orchestra and it works so well and it's the feels every time. I know, right? Um, and then like jazz also really works for the Mario series. I absolutely love the 3D World soundtrack. Big Band really works well. Um, and yeah, Bowser's Fury has an awesome soundtrack. Mario Odyssey has a great soundtrack. Um, even Mario Sunshine, which, I mean, is like an okay Mario game, just has some, like, it has some iconic themes in it. It's shoveling time! Alright. I, I know I said that Plague Knight would be my last stage, but I think I think we're gonna do one more for the fans, you know. I I always loved this song in particular. Speaking of good video game music, and I hope you guys can get a good listen to it too. I I love singing along to video game music. I that might be cringe, but I don't care, dang it. It's good music. I'm an appreciative of musical variety. I may not be able to play an instrument, but I, I sure can uh, appreciate good music. I mean, hopefully I can, otherwise I'm just giving you guys lousy recommendations. That or I'm just biased. But yeah, no, speaking of like Mario games having good soundtracks, even when like they aren't as universally loved. Uh, Sticker Star, because we were talking about, uh, Paper Mario games before. I was, uh, playing some of the Sticker Star soundtrack for my girlfriend the other day, and she was shocked at just how good the music was. She didn't even know what game it was from. Um, and, yeah. Nah, yeah, you just gotta, you just gotta sing along to some good gaming tunes. But yeah, she's a big fan of um, the desert tune, desert themes in games, and also like forest themes. So, uh, she had never heard the Paper Mario soundtrack or the Sticker Star soundtrack before. Uh, so playing some of those songs for her is just really cool because she really liked those. Rookie heckin' mistake. Another thing she really liked uh, was Mega Man music, because she had never played Mega Man before. And... Yeah, even the fan game music for Mega Man is just really, really stellar. Uh, if you ever have the chance to look up, like, the Mega Man Perfect Blue, or the Y Plus 7 soundtracks on YouTube, you should definitely do so. They're really, really good. 
Origami King. I I really need to beat Origami King. I've barely scratched the surface of that game because there were just other new games that came out. Um, and I was streaming that uh, and I just didn't have the opportunity to like finish it. That would be one other game that I'm just dying to finish someday. Because, uh, again, my brother told me uh, he beat it and he said, you are missing out on a really fun game with with great music. And yeah, I really love the game's graphical style. Um, I don't care what people say about like the toad design. I think that I think it's true that uh, yeah, some of the some of the character design isn't as good as the the older games, but they still do a lot with the character design in those games, even within uh, their limitations they have. Um, but yeah, the the music in those games and the graphical style is just so dang good, and I love it so much. Rayman. I, what Rayman game are you talking about specifically? I played Rayman uh, Legends. Is that is that the game I'm thinking of? Rayman Legends. That's like one of my favorite multiplayer games on the Switch, and also like one of my favorite platformers on the Switch. It's so good, and you're right. The music is actually really on point, even though it has like a rather bizarre instrumentation. Well, once you think about it, using uh, electronic music in the modern day isn't that uh, far-fetched once you think about it, because, like, really it's just writing... Stylistically, it's more writing off of techno or anything else. Never knows that it's been a musical genre for decades, but I feel like um, chiptune does techno better than techno music does, or at least it appeals to me more. The rhythm levels are so good. I love the music levels in Rayman Legends. And they just feel so natural too. It's really wonderful. Rayman Legends is a game I need to let's play sometime, especially the multiplayer version. That it's just such a fun multiplayer game, and I think. It would make for some, like, either really good YouTube content or really good streaming content. But anyway, this is the giant anglerfish. It's very ugly, and I was kind of scared of it as a kid. Um... <laughs> and much like the Mario 3, like, the Big Bertha enemies, like, it spawns smaller versions of itself from its mouth. No, I need to play more Rayman in general. Didn't that game have like, didn't Rayman Legends have like the entirety of Rayman Origins in it? If so, that's like a incredibly amazing bonus. Eels alive! I had a ride like that in ages. I think I'm gonna be sick. Anyway, I'm about to drop another great deal on you. Wanna see? Yes! Basically, this is a Hammer Bros hammer, where it's like chucked in an arc. Can't be stopped. Does a bit of damage. Second best Paper Mario game to me. Wow, that's awesome. I hear it like handles like the open world, or like the world design really well too. But yeah, I just can't wait to play it. Another Paper Mario game I've been dying to play is, um... Thousand Year Door. That's one I've just always wanted to try. Especially because I really liked the first Paper Mario game. A lot more than I thought I would, actually. So... The... The... Questionably better sequel, Thousand Year Door. Or at least it's the one I always hear people talk about. I, I'd love to give that one a chance someday. But, uh, 
Not yet, unfortunately. I, I've not had an opportunity to try it yet. Maybe I can stream it sometime. That'd be really fun to experience with you guys. But, uh... Yeah, who knows when that'll happen again. You ever think about that this is like medieval times questionably and that we're just riding missiles in a submarine like this seems very steampunky to begin with or like i don't know like it sort of seems steampunky but also like uh it also seems like relatively modern too and yet it doesn't break the mold too much you know Oh my gosh, oh my, oh my gosh, bruh, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I also have a friend who thinks Super Paper Mario is his favorite Paper Mario game. And it, it and it's purely because of the story. I, I, as far as I'm aware, Super Paper Mario does just have the, like one of the deepest plots of any Paper Mario game. Which again is like a really unpopular opinion, but I mean, we only have popular opinions in life. I guess we're kind of a pleb. Or, I, I didn't mean we as if like, I'm talking about myself in the royal we. I'm not like a, not one of those people. I more just mean like in general. Oh, that was close. All right, the part with the anchors. I forgot about that. I forgot this entire section existed. Come on, come here, you stinking bisquick. Get down here, you son of a motherless goat. Bro, I used up all my magic. <laughs> Okay, cool. Got him! <laughs> the bartender who tells lore about the villains? Interesting! I actually didn't know that. That's really cool. Got him! Come here, you! Wait, I, I'm, I'm just gonna ride the anchor up. Brother! I need, I need to take more time next time I play that game to just explore. You know, actually like, take my time, do it right. I may not do like all the levels where it like, makes you do all these stupid long things just for a code. Like that was one aspect of the game I did not like as a kid. But it, it was usually always used comedically. But I gotta say, I wrote down a crap ton of passwords for that game. And by a crap ton, I mean like at least two. That I will still use in future playthroughs. If, if I do decide to go that route at some point. Which I would absolutely love to. There I go, singing video game songs again. Gosh, I'm glad there's not any cringe videos of me out on the internet singing. I actually don't mind singing very often. Like, only if I have to sing a song I'm not okay with singing will I, like, ever have a problem with it. Well, imagine the only time I have a problem with singing is when I have a problem with singing. An absolute shocker. <laughs> Whatever. Like, I, I think you understand what I'm saying. Also, this hallway is extremely Mega Man in its design. My gems, my vessel, my ocean. Your very presence tarnishes. Yeah, it was still really fun to do. You are to lay claim to the sea itself. Your greed knows no bounds, treasure knight. 
Your hands are no less dirty. You have a shovel. Anyway, even now others are paying for your avarice. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Let us do all. Winner take all. Uh oh. Yikes. Uh oh. Oh yeah. I love the Treasure Knight boss theme music. It like turns a very peaceful song into like a anticipation song. Also, doesn't his suit look like an Amogus? Uh, and could my editor please like put an Amogus over him so that like you, you the viewer can see it too? Time for Bioshock Man. Goodbye Amogus, your time was sus, but you're no longer with us. Or your suit was sus, with your, but you're no longer with us. Whatever, I tried to do something clever. Didn't work out. How I sleep knowing that I'm not funny online. <laughs> okay. Let's get down to business. You go beat. Someone. And by someone, I mean some bosses. Um, let's see what the new town offers. Uh, Wallace? His name is Wallace? Our scouts saw your approach, and we know of your quest. This is the armor outpost. Our brave... The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. Oh yeah, when me and my friend did multiplayer for this game, uh, he gave Shovel Knight an Indian accent for no reason, but we rolled with it. Awesome. This be the area of Anvil. Any art? Need for an armor upgrade? If you need something forged, I'm your fella. Arr, arr. Uh. You know what? I'm okay with my nice blue armor. I really like it. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, lad. But I can improve it. Unlock its true abilities. Hmm. We have a lot of good upgrades we can buy. And a lot of money with which we can buy it. So we might as well. Da -da -da -da. Yes, we can dig up that shovel pile in one strike. It's a nice shovel. Da -da 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 -da. Slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. I uh, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'm using the Switch version. What version do you usually play on? Horns, the finest instruments, but they only really come to life in a duet. We're getting really close to the end here. We're about halfway through. I do say, sir. Why, I haven't seen such a decadent airship since I've sold mine, ha! I also use the Switch version. Pog Champ. Oh, that King Knight! He's so regal! Such a refined fashion sense! But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Yo, what's up with, like, the one simp in each town? Propeller Knight. Now there's a guy who knows how to treat his fans. But you're the one who really blows me away, Shuffle Knight. But you're the one who really blows me away, Shovel Knight. I have the Spectre Knight and King Knight Amiibos too. They have some functionality in their games. That's awesome. Mr. Hat, and he doesn't wear a hat. Ah, uh, hats. My greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than the crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. Look at all these posh citizens. Peacock gent. With my rat vast riches, I could buy this whole store. But I forgot my wallet. Oh, upstanding knight, could you part with the... Oh, true, 1,000 gold, no? Wow, thanks, I can't believe that worked! Is this how the rich get richer, chat? 
I only buy the best, but for my latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only 1,000 gold short. El Elk sells Excelsior. Excelsior. Now that I have my purchase, I shall take my leave. Oh, such a charming beret. If only I had the means to afford it. All I need is a mere 1,000 gold. Freeloaders. Yeah, the PS version adds a hidden fight. Oh, wait, yeah, doesn't the Xbox version have, like, um, the battle toads or something? What does, what does the PS4 have again? I, I forget. Ugh, my precious hats! That's a lovely helmet! So lovely! So lovely! I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel the land far and wide, I do... Searching, learning, teaching, collecting, all shapes, all sizes, hats. The Xbox One has the Battletoads, and the PS4 version has a fight against Kratos. What? That sounds awesome. Man. I might, I might have to try some of those versions sometime. That sounds really fun. Imagine fighting Kratos, bro. But the Battletoads also is such a... Such a legendary, like, callback. Fighting against Kratos is also canonical to God of War. So... Kratos beats Zeus. We beat Kratos. Does that mean Shovel Knight could just, like, slay any of the Greek deities? Each one I wear grants me a new power, and your hat looks powerful indeed. Intriguing, but I'm rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. <laughs> He's battling me for my sick helmet. I think not. My weird Boba Fett type design says no thank you. Uh oh. Woo! 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 Whoa, he actually does a Scrooge McDuck pogo. Okay. Whoa, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Stinky! Boom! I told you we had nothing to fear. You're an idiot for worrying. If, if you were worried. I mean, I was, which means I'm an idiot. But if you were. You know. Enough! I know not what came over me. My hunger for hats took control. Your... Beautiful hat. It's a helmet. Right, oh, I do that. We're in good health. Uh, for now. Right, well, off I go then. Yeah, apparently Kratos gets lost in the pixel land, but I don't know what when that happens, but when you defeat him, it gives you a special weapon, his blades, I'm pretty sure. That is freaking awesome! Wow! That is really cool. Oh bother, you found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pester you no longer. Here's some gold for the trouble. Hmm. I find Tinker Knight so fascinating. I'd love to talk about literature with him. Or about love poetry with you. What does Tinker Knight have to do with literature? Is it like some sort of pun off of Tinker Bell? I'm so grumpy. I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch. He doesn't like my sense of humor, chat. I'm so grumpy. I'm just not in a good mood. 
Uh, uh, why, why don't the snow wolves make any sound? Uh, they don't know how. Dang, tough crowd. Have you heard the gastronomer starting to cook with bouillon? I tried some, but my soup was scored. Also, this, for the Switch version, the Shovel Knight Amiibo or the Golden one, I'm pretty sure, gives you an alternate version of your items. So, for example, the one of the Shovel Knight stage, instead of launching left or right, instead you go up and down. That is sick. I want to try that. Also, green helmet in the background? You! You can't be serious! How'd you find me again? You're following me everywhere! Okay, okay, I won't come back. Just take some more of my gold and leave me to my hats! Woohoo! Let's just take this uh, music sheet. Huh? I thought I saw some commotion in here from outside. What happened? Poor oblivious fool. Well, he's not poor, obviously. Plague Knight, what a cutie! I love his old mask. Is it a bird? A mosquito? All I know is that I've been bitten by the love bug, Shovel Knight. Anyway. Oh boy! And with that, I think that might be all. Yeah, we, we could fight the Baz today, but I, I, I figure we might leave that for the next stream. Yeah, and the 3DS version had um, a Street Pass arena, if I'm correct. And then, what, what did the Wii U version have? Do you, do you remember what the Wii U version had? I don't, I don't really remember. But yeah, I wish the Switch version sort of compacted all the modes together, or like the re-releases sort of compacted all the modes together. Wii U might have had amiibo support too, that would have made sense. But I think they added amiibo support to the 3DS version too once the new Nintendo 3DS came out. Uh, but anyway, that's gonna be pretty much all for me today, gamers. Oh, yeah, this was super fun. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, let's... Oh, th thanks for following Destiny Bound. I don't know why my alert box isn't working with the, the sound. Like, hopefully you guys were able to hear it. Um... I have a special toot on the kazoo just for you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. So, for some reason, my alert box, the noises aren't working. I'm going to have to check that out. But yeah, uh, this has been Shovel Knight. Um, obviously, we're going to do a little bit more of it uh, next week, Lord willing. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have had a great rest of your day. And I hope to see you again uh, soon. But uh, until next time, I'm Jack the Raccoon. Have a... I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. I, I butchered that opening. Or that closing. Heck, I just can't talk anymore! Ah, yeah. Whatever. This is the high quality content that you guys uh, follow me for. Um, I hope to see you next week when I'm more well put together. Anyway, oh, I'll see you later.